here we are in the basement. And this time it's not guitar gear, but electronic gear because of the stuff I do around here and the projects I'm thinking of doing. I've been looking at um, meters like this. I call them uh, smart digital multimeters on AliExpress. And then I saw them on TeamU for the same price and they were going to be shipped from inside Canada, which I didn't have to wait five, four weeks for, four or five weeks for. So this is a smart digital multimeter. It's got a fairly large screen, so they say. Um, I probably need to get a battery now to put in this. Or batteries, I'm not sure. Some were with 9 volts and some were with uh, 2.5. Ah, I need to take the little cover off to find out. Hold on. Okay, it takes two AAAs. And the screen has lit up. Oh, yeah, and this shirt? New. <laughs> Only nine bucks in Canada on TeamU. I had to go for that. It's a nice spandex style shirt. This is an extra large on me. I'm a 42. Just so if anybody's looking um, extra large or US 42 is the one to buy for that size. So uh, select Cont Voltage Capacitance. Yeah, this does capacitance. That's the, one of the main reasons I wanted to also get a different meter from my, you know, $10 meter I've had for years. I've got a few of these. I had them all over the place, one in the truck and one here, and there's a different version at the other bench. And up on the shelf there, I have, um, from back in the 90s, it a, was a $300 fluke <laughs> meter. They were quite expensive back then, and then... Technology change, the next thing you know, they're a dime a dozen. All right, well, that seems to work. So let's put the back cover back on and uh, button it up. I'm not a big fan of uh, battery covers that have screws on it, but you know, yeah. What happens? Okay, so we got a little, little stand for it, too. Oh, it's right in the front. And is there a uh, mm, 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 to open that? Okay. Covers on the ends. <laughs> okay, so black on black. And red on red for voltage, ohms, and, oh yeah, I took those to the other bench. Voltage and ohms. And uh, up to a maximum of 10 amps measuring, which is uh, similar to that one. With You probably has that built-in fuse in there. Yes, it says 10 amps, 10 second uh, fuse so it's a slow blow fuse all right so what do we got here buttons auto uh, NCV I'm not sure what that is so I'll have to look it up now there were a couple of versions of this well these meter these style meters that um, this one had the black and white screen which for me has been always good enough to see but some of them had color screens made them a little bit more expensive but didn't make the function um, any better. They still gave me the same things and I was really interested in wanting to validate some oh it's supposed to have a built-in backlight mm, select voltage so I'm gonna take a looky-see oh there should be ohms on here uh, at least I should see if I got a zero. Auto. Well, in auto mode, let's see what it does. It's supposed to... 
zero ohms and the beeper on this one. That always helps when, when you're doing something, you know, that you don't have to keep looking and looking and looking. However, I, if it's been anything like in the past, unless uh, it's never really only a zero ohms that it'll go on, there's usually a lower number and that might not be full continuity so that's something you'd always have to check for uh let's see what do we got how to get the capacitance common okay so it's set up for the proper capacitance there you can see the screen is lit up there and let's see select when do i get to capacitance ohms voltage nanofarad so that must be it do i have any capacitors around i do here i've got one here as part of a bleed circuit uh this is supposed to be a watt this should be a 0.001 102 all right let's see what happens if i put a probe across that in the auto mode or, or it's not in the capacitor mode so it's a 1.0 nanofarad and if you take that back six one zero two that's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, zero, five, six. That should be a point zero zero one. So pretty good. Oh, um, let's go to auto again and see if it will do the capacitor. No, it doesn't do capacitor in auto mode. But it looks like it'll do resistance in auto mode. There's a 100.9. And that is a 100K resistor with a 1% tolerance. So, yeah, okay. Voltage. Voltage. Let's see. Can I stick it in the... Let's see what happens up there if I stick it in the prongs. Does it blow up on me or what? <laughs> One, Ooh. two, 125 volts, AC, it did it. Um, what about my nine volt battery? Eh, you guys won't be able to see that. Let's see what's going on. 12.75. Wow, I like it. That helps to not have to whiz the wheel a little bit. Yeah. So except for having to put it into capacitance mode. Continuity voltage. Um, so the only one that you really have to select specifically seems to be capacitance in that mode. And then there's a whole button. There's a light button. Uh, does that light work? Hold. There's the light. Oh, that works. The light came on. Backlit it. Yeah. Okay. NCV. Oh, yeah. Line. There's supposed to be a... Okay, let's test that. Oh, oh, yeah. Where's the temperature? There's supposed to be a temperature probe. I don't have a temperature probe. It was supposed to come with a temperature probe. Capacitance, tire frequency, resistance, ACDC voltage, live line detection. NCV is non-contact voltage detector. That was supposed to be able to put it near um, NCV, let's go there. 
This was supposed to have an NCV um, up at the top there somewhere. And it's telling me 19 degrees Celsius. It's telling me 19 degrees Celsius. I must have been looking at another one that came with a temperature probe, and this one does not, but it, but it does temperature. So this is ambient temperature down here, I guess. That's about what my basement's running at is 19 Celsius. Yeah. Okay. Auto. Is there an... Let's see. NCV? Okay, so it doesn't measure the voltage. It merely tells you you're near a voltage source. Okay. That's... That's what I couldn't understand was, did it measure it at a distance like that? It didn't seem to make any sense. Yeah, so I guess in walls, if you're looking to see if there's any power in walls before you drill or something, that could be, that could be useful. How far away does it have to be? Oh. At about eight inches away from the plug, it starts to tell you you've got voltage, so... Uh, inside, you know, walls behind drywall, that, that should be useful. Okay, I, uh, I'm i liking this little dude. Look at that. And I think this went for something like 22 bucks. Can you believe it? 22 bucks. The newest toy on the bench. Hope you liked it. Catch you in the next one.